Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Paul, I'm with the Dicey Review, and today we're going to be doing a Kickstarter preview of a game called Meeple Steeple. Meeple Steeple is a cooperative stacking game played over a number of game turns. Players are taking turns trying to construct five levels of the steeple represented by decks of cards. After building all five levels, players have to place the steeple piece on the very top of the structure without it collapsing to win. Players will lose if they run out of workers or if the steeple collapses. Meeple Steeple comes with all of the components that you see here, including 16 engineer meeples in the four player colors, a deck of cards for tile levels 1 through 5, 18 hazard cards, 75 worker meeples, an active level marker, a steeple top, 21 level tiles, and one steeple base. To set the game up, place the steeple base in the middle of the play area. Gather 67 of the workers and place them nearby within reach of all players. Then each player will take a number of engineers depending on the player count. In our three-player example, each player will take four engineers. For each of the decks numbered one through four, remove the Ascend card from the deck, shuffle the remaining cards together, and then place the Ascend card on the bottom to form a draw stack. From the level five deck, remove the card that says Steeple, and then repeat this process. Shuffle the Hazard deck and place it face down near the play area. Place the stacks of level tiles near each deck. The largest tiles go with level 1, and then the sizes decrease as the levels go up. Then you can use your marker to notate which is the active level, starting with level 1, and then lastly place the steeple top piece to the right of the level 5 deck. You're now ready to play the game. On a player's turn, they will draw the top card from the active level deck. After drawing this card, they'll have one of two options. They can either play the card following its text, or they can use one of their engineers to re-engineer the card. Let's look at what happens if we follow the text, because this can lead to a few different outcomes. If the card says build, like this one, the player will discard this card to the current active level discard pile, and then they will build one of the tiles from the current level. This is the meat of the game, and it's very difficult to do the higher the steeple goes. To build, a player can choose to take either two, three, or four workers from the common supply, and then place them in any way they want to, so long as they're standing on their feet. They will then place the new tile from the current level on top of these meeples to form a new base. If a player draws a hazard card, they'll discard this card to the active discard pile, they will then draw the top card from the hazard deck, and they have to discard as many meeples from the worker pool as are depicted on this card. So in this instance, these players would have to remove these three workers from the supply. These meeples can be regained using engineers, but it does hinder the player's ability to complete the tower. If a player draws a descend card, they have to discard this card to the current active level discard pile, and then the next level down that isn't closed becomes the new active level. We'll look at what it means to have a closed level in a second. The player must then immediately draw a new card from the new active level and resolve that card. If all of the levels below the descend card are already closed, then the players don't have to do anything. They just draw another card from that same level. Ascend cards work in the opposite way. They allow players to move up to the next level. Once the player has moved up to the next level, they will immediately draw a new card from this level and then complete that card. Now the last type of card that you will see in the level 5 deck only is the steeple card. And the steeple card works a little bit like a build card, except that you have to try and build with this steeple piece. And if the players are able to successfully place the steeple on top of the tower, then they will win the game. We talked earlier about a level being closed. Basically, if any level has the last tile for that level played, then the level is now considered to be closing. Cards from the closing level are still drawn and played, but build cards and ascend cards both are counted as ascend cards. And as soon as any other level becomes the active level, the previous level is closed, and then you will immediately remove these cards from the play area. This level can no longer be active. Players can also use their engineers on their turn in one of two ways. 
The first is to regain lost workers. Before or after a player draws a card, they can discard one engineer to regain up to three previously lost workers and put them back in the worker pool. So in this example, the three workers that we lost earlier could simply be added back to the supply. Players can alternatively use an engineer to re-engineer a card. If after drawing a card, a player doesn't want to resolve it, they can spend one engineer from their supply to re-engineer this card. They will discard the card that they drew to the current active level discard, take all of the cards yet to be drawn, shuffle them together to form a new draw stack, and then draw from the top of that new pile to resolve a different card. Players can only use one engineer per turn and they can never use them out of turn. Players will continue to take turns until one of three things happens. If the players are able to successfully place the steeple piece on top of the steeple, they immediately win. If the players ever have less than two workers in the common supply, they'll lose immediately. And if at any time while trying to place a level tile, the tower collapses, then the players will lose immediately as well. So one thing that you'll notice fairly quickly when playing Meeple Steeple is that there aren't enough workers to use four per tile. And this means that you will have to get very creative in your placement and have some shaky levels of your steeple. And this is the tension of the game. As you get higher and higher, your steeple will become shakier and less stable. And if you're anything like me, being dexterous is not your strength. And this means that as you get into the higher levels, you have to start making the tough decisions of how many workers to use. And this is all based off of how many workers you have left. So this management during the game is important. The other thing that players will need to keep in mind is that the Ascend cards are placed on the bottom of each level during setup. So to play an Ascend card, you have to play through the whole level deck unless you use an Engineer to shuffle through your cards early. This isn't as much of an issue on the lower levels, but when you get into the middle and higher levels, let me give you a bit of a spoiler alert. There are lots of hazards. And also, if you use every build card, your tower is going to be very high and not likely going to be that stable. So effective use of your engineers is very much something to work towards. So in general, Meeple Steeple is a very straightforward stacking dexterity game. And my go-to is a heavier, crunchier Euro game, but one of the things that I'm learning as I grow and I expand in the hobby, and as I play more and more with my wife and with my daughter, is that there's great value in games that don't require tons of setup, deep thought, and hours of playtime. Meeple Steeple is definitely a lighter game that does one specific thing, but I think it does it well. I had a lot of fun playing the game both solo to learn it and with my wife as well. I also feel like even though the task in Meeple Steeple is fairly straightforward, the actual application of constructing the steeple is very difficult and will take some time to master. Learning to manage your engineers in the right way to build quickly enough and learning how to stack meeples in a certain way to make a stable platform all takes a bit of time, but the good thing is that my wife and I wanted to try again after our platform fell a few times. And if there's one thing that you'll learn from early plays of Meeple Steeple, it's that your tower will fall and fall and fall again. It's very hard to keep your tower stable. This could just be partly because my hands aren't quite steady as I place the meeples or because I'm not practiced at playing stacking games, but we found that Meeple Steeple was very challenging and is also very addicting. There are also ways that you can adjust the difficulty if you struggle like I do. You can also make the game harder if you're a stacking pro, so there's a good bit of variability with that as well. One thing that I also really like about Meeple Steeple are the components. Each steeple platform is a really pleasing dark stained wood and there's just something really fun about getting to place nice wooden components. Now I mentioned in the intro that the components in this preview are prototype and will change. And I want to mention which things will look different in the final version that goes to Kickstarter. In general there will be a reworking of all game art on the steeple base and the cards. Things will still look medieval, but they will be nicer. And the steeple base will also be a new material. It will still be wood, but slightly different materials. The cards in the production copy of Meeple Steeple will be updated to maintain graphical consistency throughout the game and the rulebook. And the hazard cards will be updated to the same size as the level cards. And all of the cards will feature a linen finish. The tiles won't change much, but each tile will be thick enough to eliminate the potential for warping. 
And then the engineer meeples are going to be a slightly different shape to differentiate them from the workers, which will remain the same. The active level marker included in the prototype will possibly be unlocked as a stretch goal and will be a large meeple in the shape of a gargoyle, which is really neat. And then finally, the box will also be sized to hold a vacuum formed insert and will feature a linen style finish as well. Overall, I had a great time digging into Meeple Steeple. And I think that if you're looking for a lightweight, straightforward dexterity game that keeps you coming back for more, Meeple Steeple is a good one to keep an eye on. The publisher, Black Oak Workshop, is aiming for a November or December 2018 Kickstarter, so make sure to look for that Kickstarter and consider backing it if this game is your style. We had a good time playing Meeple Steeple, and I hope that you will too. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, we'll see you at the table.